Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm just gonna jump right into the video and basically, as you can tell by the title, I'm gonna be doing my skincare routine and my boyfriend is knocking on the wall. Scratch that, guys. My fiance is knocking on the wall. We got engaged a few days ago, so I'm still getting used to calling him my fiance instead of boyfriend. We've been together for like four and a half years and it's just like such a huge change. I'm so excited. Yes. <laughs> But obviously, as you can see, I'm taking off my makeup with these wipes, and I got these at Walmart, and they're pretty bomb. I love how they're moist. I've bought a lot of uh, wipes that are super dry, and I'm just like, why are you dry? They're supposed to be moist. <laughs> so these have never failed to be moist. I love them. Um, and I'm just taking off the mascara and glue. I was wearing lashes earlier that day. And of course the pesky little glue gets stuck in them lashes and I'm just like intrigued looking at the glue. I don't know. <laughs> As you can tell by my ugly faces. And I'm jamming out to Pandora guys. Those old tunes. Shoddy is a 10. <laughs> now I'm just taking my Vanity Planet scrubber kit. It comes with three brush heads. One is an exfoliating one which is what's on there right now. Another one is the more gentle brush, and then another one is like a gel-like one. Um, I've only used the exfoliating one so far, but I love it. I then take the Clean and Clear 3-in-1 Exfoliating Cleanser, and I just just distribute that all over my face before I start using the scrubber. Um, I've noticed that this kind of just like maintains my skin lately. Um, because a lot of products that you use, if you've noticed, it, sometimes they can break you out. This one, I've noticed, doesn't break me out. Um, so that's why I've kept using it. And also, my the dermatologist on Curology.com has recommended it to me. Um, because I am using Curology right now also, which I will mention in just a moment. Um, I just scrub all over my face. I love doing this. This is one of my favorite parts of the skin routine. Like I love how it feels. Um, I just feel like satisfied and like, I don't know, I just don't know how to explain it. I feel like all of the dirt is coming out of my face because after I wash all of this off, it's like my skin feels so refreshed, it's not even funny. I love it so much. And um, I like getting into the crevices of my nose, as you can see right here. And that was, that tasted really gross, guys, by the way. That stuff got in my mouth. It was disgusting. <laughs> um, I just, I like making sure that I get inside, or not inside of my nose, but on the sides of my nose because obviously a lot of makeup gets clogged up into the corners and the crevices and that does cause a breakout so of course I like to prevent that and scrub as best as I can and of course can't forget the forehead and after this of course I I feel like I've said of course so many times so far I'm so sorry I like cleaning the brush set. I don't just like rinse it off with water. I like to make sure that I clean it very well. Um, as you can see, that looks disgusting. Makeup, dirt, everything that you can imagine is in there. So what I like to take is the Dawn Dish Soap and literally just pour it over the brush. I like to turn on the brush while it's spinning and pour it on so it goes all into the bristles and just starts, you know, cleaning it. Um, I then rub it into my hand to kind of make it more um, foamy because when there's foam, you know it's clean. I just honestly get really satisfied when I see the foam because I'm just like, look at it. Look at it. It's clean. And now, guys, I'm going to show you what I used to do in like my routine for when my acne was literally super bad. I would take these little gel-like things. You can find these in a pack of two at Walmart for like two, three bucks. And then I would take the Noxema cleansing cream and the anti-blemish pads and that would be all I used so first I would use the cleansing cream just rub it onto my face and I loved it because these things were so cheap and you get so much product and I would just of course just rub it in with the little scrubber and rub until I thought it was good enough but <laughs> wash it off and then I would take the anti-blemish pads and normally I would just use one uh, to wipe kind of just it, it just gives you like this tingly sensation and I love that it makes me feel feel clean and it's just I love the feeling of these I still kind of use them once in a while um, don't get it in your eye girl though because it burns burns so bad 
Um, but sometimes I would use two because if you rub down your neck, obviously makeup gets in your neck and behind your ear. It's weird. I would just use two even more sometimes just because I wanted to make sure I rubbed all the dirt off my skin. <laughs> but um, as you saw in the video that or the picture that I just put up, um, these two products definitely helped. I know that for a fact. I mean, that's what I truly believe. Um, it definitely helped my face and I'm so grateful to God that I found these two products because um, I, I don't know, maybe I would still be breaking out if it weren't for those two products. I don't know, but definitely if you're struggling with acne, I would say give those a try because, you know, it doesn't hurt to try and they're super cheap. They're probably like three bucks each. I can't really remember the exact price, but they're cheap and affordable. And another very um, good tip that I recommend, it might seem like a waste of paper, but I like to use paper towels to dry my face afterwards. Um, I used to use washcloths and I would have seven of them, one for each week because I would do laundry once a week and I would just wash them and I thought I was being so clean, but I honestly truly feel a lot of bacteria stays in those washcloths and it's like you're rubbing your face into it and it just makes things worse. And this cream right here is when I wear a lot, a lot of makeup and I just want to put the cream on my face, it melts it away and then I use the wipes to take it off. It's kind of helpful, you don't rub on your face too much. And this is a lip revival scrub thing that I got in my um, December BoxyCharm. Um, I haven't really used it much, but I like the smell of it. I don't really like the taste, but I'm just using it because I noticed my bottom lip was kind of chapped. And I was just going to see if it was going to work, and it did. So it works. I mean, it seems like it works anyways. <laughs> Thanks, BoxyCharm. And now your girl's going to put her retainers on. I always brush my teeth before I shower. I have no idea. It's like this weird, like, I don't know. I don't know what's, it's weird. I, sh I like to brush my teeth before I shower. And when I don't brush my teeth before I shower, I obviously don't forget to brush them after I shower, but I just feel like, I don't know. I feel weird. It's, it's a really weird feeling. I like to do everything before I shower. It's just weird. And, um, I also scrub my retainers, um, morning and night. Sorry if this is gross. You can skip ahead if you want, but I just included this because this is genuinely how I get ready at night. Or I mean, I guess it's, I guess I should say get unready at night. Um, <laughs> I look a hot mess, but I mean, I'm just being real with you guys. <laughs> and I wear contacts. So now I have to take off my contacts. And I just got my nails done the other day. So like, it's been a while since I had my nails done, and when I was taking them off, like, I was so surprised that I was actually taking them off super quickly, because normally when I have nails, um, it takes me forever to get my contacts out. But, as you can see, I'm just putting them away. I take them out, and then I like to clean them again before I put them into the water solution. The water solution. I should say solution. Um, and then I'm blind, so I have to get my glasses on. Ray-Bans come through. Who's Bridget? I don't know. <laughs> After I'm done being retardedly dorky, I just get ready to jump in the shower, and I just had to include this clip because I see a lot of other YouTubers do it, and I was like, I want to do it too. <laughs> But this does conclude the video, guys. If you did enjoy, please like and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!